Left is an Innovate funded project. It's a consortium between us at PES Performance and Doncaster's Brahma, who are a local aerospace manufacturing company, and the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult. Uh, the focus of the project is to look at rain erosion protection on wind turbine blades, primarily looking at the offshore market. Wind turbine blades are produced from glass reinforced plastics. These plastics are very good at um, being lightweight and uh, are designed to take the loads uh, that are imparted to the blade during service from mass, from wind pressure and from uh, the dynamics of the blade. What these plastics are not good at is perpendicular attack and with the push from the renewable sector to increase the lengths of the blades and increase the speeds of the blades to improve efficiency, uh, the tip speed is now at uh, a level to which the, the um, perpendicular attack from raindrops is becoming a huge issue. What is currently going on is that in uh, the field, after between five and seven years, uh, service engineers are having to go out and uh, repair the surface of the glass fibre with polyurethanes and there are a number of polyurethanes on the market. This repair is expensive because uh, it means that the turbine has to be stopped so you lose power, you lose the generating capacity uh, but more importantly it's expensive because uh, the aerodynamic profile so after the repair is more inefficient than the design. So we're looking at using a alternate manufacturing process to maintain that surface profile throughout the life of the blade. There's a number of technical challenges in uh, putting a metal substrate such as this onto a wind turbine blade and uh, at PES Performance we're focused in that part of the project so looking at how do we design and manufacture these and how uh, do these affect the way that the blade will behave in operation. So things such as uh, how do you attach the blades, so we're looking a lot into that. Um, how do you do that repeatedly in a manufacturing facility? How does that affect how many blades that manufacturing facility can produce per annum? Um, how uh, does adding a metallic strip affect other properties such as glare, uh, lightning protection, um, and, how, and how does it affect the strength and the dynamics of the blade. We're hoping that with this project um, we can uh, bring a new product to market for Doncaster's Brahma and also uh, the ORE are hoping that this will bring extra benefits such as the ability to now thin out the blades, run them even faster, improve blade, blade efficiency even more so it could push us to uh, a, 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 a considerable redesign of the current blade. Um, and in doing so we obviously hope that the UK improves its presence in the offshore renewable market and that we reduce our reliance on fossil fuels.